hey what is good guys hopefully you guys are doing great today so it's been a while since i've actually done a movie review and recently i just watched the suicide squad the new version not the old one that was really bad this new one is actually pretty good uh here's my reasons why um story so uh, the story is basically Amanda Waller. She gets a team together and she sends them to this remote island to kill these um, these two brothers. I forgot their name. So their whole mission was to kill these two brothers, basically. And that was it. Or so you think. Obviously, as you know, Amanda Waller always, always has different plans. She never sticks to one plan. She always has a backup. So, of course, she had a backup team. So, there was a team A, it was a team B. And team B kind of had the same objective, but it was different in a way. And team B squad was absolutely amazing. Like, Idris Elba, he did great as Bloodsport. Peacekeeper, played by John Cena, was amazing. Rat Catcher. Uh, I don't know the actress name. She did amazing. Sylvester Stallone was King Shark. He did good. He was like kind of like the Groot, if you kind of think about it. Um, who else? She have uh, Ric Flair, and then you have Harley Quinn. There was a whole bunch of other characters and stuff like that, but those were like the main focus group that you're focused on throughout the entire movie. Oh, and there was one character who was really freaking good called polka dot man <laughs> he was at first when you get introduced to these characters you're like oh okay and it, it was funny because uh <laughs> when they introduced blood sport um she's like he's a trained assassin raised by his father yada 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 you meet peacekeeper he's a trained assassin raised by father blood blood sports like wait a minute didn't you just say the same thing about me? <laughs> uh, that was really funny. Um, there was a lot of funny moments in this movie. I knew it was gonna be funny, but I didn't know it was gonna be this funny. But it was like a, it was a bright balance though. It was a balance of funniness and seriousness as well. And it was like the right combination. Like it was almost like a Guardians of the Galaxy, just with extremely more blood and a lot of gore and cursing. <laughs> uh yeah it was it was really well done um the characters obviously you know harley quinn she did amazing i think she had a lot of growth in her character the one character i think there's two characters to me that really stood out well three polka dot man really stood out to me because his character was just so likable and lovable you know like it, I don't know. He had a really cool little backstory. And it was funny that, um, so he has this power because his mom wanted, like, her children to have superpowers, right? He got polka dots. And the problem is that he sees his mom in everybody's body. He doesn't see normal people. He sees his mom. It's the weirdest fucking thing. But it was like... It was weird, but it was perfect for what they were saying. It, it fit perfect for him. Um, Peacemaker, played by John Cena. He did absolutely fantastic. He made his character so goddamn believable. It was amazing. Like, he really embodied that role as Peacemaker. It was amazing. Like, it was so freaking good. It was really good. He was really good. It was just the, the chemistry between everybody was great. Like, they made this movie really enjoyable to watch. Because, like, the chemistry, you just tell them. And they felt like a tight-knit family on set, you know. And it just made the movie flow so much better. And it felt like you were watching a movie as a chore, you know. like it, And it was a two-hour movie, but didn't really feel like it was two hours. Um, then Ric Flair. <clears throat> He had the biggest glow up from the first one to this one 
is like there's like two different characters two different characters he's super charismatic as a character like he he just fits the role he fit the role perfectly and this time he got to actually be rick flair unlike in the other uh, first one he wasn't really rick flair he was but he didn't feel like it this one he feels like it i i love it and then the chemistry between him and harley quinn are freaking amazing they they seem like they've been friends for like years you know and it was amazing oh bless me it was amazing it was really really well done and all the other characters were well done too like rat catch she was dope um blood sport he was my favorite out of all the characters that they had he was dope because like the way he would like take out his guns and stuff was freaking dope because it's like all over his suit so he would just take it out and move it it was freaking dope um There was just other stuff. King Shark was great as well. Um, he's like he was literally like Groot, literally just like Groot, basically. Like he had his lines. So I remember the funniest line in this entire movie was they were trying to get, infiltrate the um, island, right? And they're like, "Yeah, we can get you guys into town, you know, and stuff like that." He's like, "Well, King Shark's like, what about me?" You know, he's like. I could put a fake mustache. He was doing this, and dude's like, "No, it's not gonna work." And he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> it was the funniest thing. It was so freaking funny. Like, King Shark stole the show. Honestly, I mean, everybody stole the show when they were on screen. Like, everybody felt good. Nobody felt like, "Oh, that shouldn't have been a no." It's really good. And then they had this scene where they all went to the club. You know, because they were looking for this guy. But it ended up turning into like one of the best scenes in the entire movie because it shows like a, it showed a freaking bond between uh, between them. And it was funny because like the rat catcher has his rat. It was like really close to her, and they all got around the drinks. And then she, the waitress, was walking away. He's like, Peace, uh, "Peacemaker's like, hey, the rat." <laughs> so the rat's like, "Yo." drink <laughs> uh that was funny um overall this movie was really well done like i even watched it a second time and i don't re-watch movies on a regular basis i don't but for some reason that movie was good enough to watch again um it's a really good movie um if you watch the original and you watch this one you can tell there's a big jump in quality there's a big jump in quality. This one, the characters are more lively. They're more charismatic. Um, better characters in general. You know, there's a mixture between funniness and seriousness. The chemistry between the characters just feel it flows, and it, it, it makes it it makes the movie more enjoyable that the characters actually all get along. And and I'm not saying in the original they didn't. But if you take a look at that original, it just feels so flat compared to this one. It's like they took their time, they knew their assignment, and they knew it had to be done. And they did it well, really well, really, really well. Um, what else? The, uh, at the end, there was a big boss fight, which was really cool. Um, and they killed off a lot of characters. I'm not going to say who dies, but I will say they killed off quite a few characters. Yeah, they killed off quite a few. And I did not expect that. I really didn't. I did not expect that at all. Um, who else? Side characters they had and Amanda Waller's thing. They did good. You know, they played their part and everything. Amanda Waller, the lady who played Amanda Waller, she plays that part to the T. She is like the perfect Amanda Waller, the perfect Amanda Waller, perfect, perfect, like, she embodies Amanda Waller to the T, she just, she did absolutely amazing, she did really good in the first one, she did really good in the reboot, I guess you can call it a reboot in a way, uh, it's reboot, um, I honestly enjoyed this movie as a whole, with that being said, I'm gonna give the Suicide Squad, a review score of, round of applause, 9 out of 10. 
Yeah, it, it, it's so good. If you have HBO and you don't want to go to the movie theater, watch this movie. You will not go wrong. I promise you. This movie is absolutely fantastic. It's it's really good. It's really good. And it has a lot of action sequences in it. Well, oh, yeah, a lot. It has a lot. It's quite a few. It's really good. It's really good. Like the, Especially at the end, there's this big blowout between two characters i'm not gonna say who and it was great really good like really good and something happens and i'm like at least it left me like what i was like they really did that and they did um so yeah if you have time check out this movie i promise you 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 won't be you will not be wrong at all it's better than the first one for sure Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hopefully, you guys have a great and amazing day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, you guys already know, stay amazing. Peace.